hello my people welcome to this month's reset vlog this will be a bit different it will be me cleaning my house and doing laundry and kidogo shopping as we review january goals i like heading up my place just before i settle into another month that is feb in this case i'm so excited to share with you the january goals that i hadn't shared i know i shared kidogo the vision board but there are few that I did not touch up on so I will be doing that on this vlog as we tidy up the place. I don't know if anybody else can relate to this but January for me was a long month. I don't know why the days in it seemed more than 31 to be honest. I'd describe my January as a well balanced month in terms of work life balance. I was able to earn an okay salary without tearing myself out. I feel like adding things like outdoor activities and making effort to meet up with friends and set dates and things like swimming lessons of which I'll touch on when we're looking at my vision board really helped a lot that plus having a somewhat defined work schedule I'm saying somewhat because uh, being self-employed it can be um how can i put it it can be unpredictable in terms of tasks that are needed to be done So let's go through my January vision board and as I said this year I'll be doing more of digital vision boards and using those as my screensaver, my wallpaper. Yeah, so that's what I did for the first month of the year and I really love writing. You guys know that by now. So of course before me making the vision board I had written down all the things that I want to achieve and then now looked for pictures on Pinterest. So some of them couldn't fit on my vision board. So those I'll be sharing them uh, on the screen and also I'll be sharing my vision board on the screen. And if you haven't watched the vlog that I made this vision board, it will be linked somewhere on the screen. First goal was to make fresh juices. I was trying to reduce my sugar intake, so I wanted to replace those with freshly blended juices. But unfortunately, my blender failed me <laughs> in this goal. So um, I'm hoping to get a juicer very, very soon. As much as I did not make uh, fresh juices, I feel like my intake for um, uh, sugar was reduced significantly if you know me personally you know i'm addicted to those two small lemonade drinks i really really love them but honestly last month i only took one bottle and i feel so proud <laughs> also i feel like this goal was um substituted with me taking water like my intake last month was so good Next goal was to get my YouTube channel to 29,500 subscribers. I'm currently at 29,100 and something. And honestly, moving forward, I don't think I'll be making these goals. 
like numbers and if i do maybe i don't know because there's like a feeling that comes with you not achieving those numbers if i'm being honest some mm, demotivating feeling that comes with that i honestly just want to keep on creating good content next goal was to drink more water you guys saw me in my last video drinking loads of water next one was swimming hey this one i'm so proud of myself guys i can float Neza float kwa maji yani that only makes me so proud i'm still continuing with my uh, swimming lessons and hopefully by march i'll be so good with my swimming And then the next one was to go to giraffe center you guys saw me go there i love giraffes i want to frame one that i took it's honestly a place i'd highly highly recommend the next one was to use my camera some more at the beginning of the month i did but as per now i just want to um, invest in my camera maybe buy a new lens that is one of my fab uh, goals but i'll keep you updated on that and then i was to make content for my membership program yes i did that i haven't uploaded a couple of videos like three videos but they already filmed yeah we did that and then also i was to get a console a tv console so that one i wasn't able to i was to work with a brand but uh the delay makes me feel like i just have to jump ships and look for another brand I was to inquire the main word here is inquire about ice skating and i tried reaching out actually on the day that i went to giraffe center but nobody picked my call so i have to go there physically and i haven't had a chance to do so but hopefully this month i'll do so The next goal was to get my IG to 15,500. As I've said, moving forward, I don't think I want to focus on numbers. But my IG did so well, guys. I'm currently at 15,600. So we even surpassed that with 100 followers. When I was writing this down, I had 15,100 yeah and then my ig for kairetu is standing at 19,100 and something and the goal was 19,500 i don't have any complaints on that i'm okay with it as long as sales are being made i'm quite okay and then my emergency fund i was to get it to 50k well mm, let's just say i was able to get it to 25 so for this coming month i have to save up and then add the 25 g's on top just to um, cover up for january i hope that will be possible yeah but uh, since feb has kidogo number of days i'm not sure if i'm making realistic goal there by adding 25 on top of what i want to achieve in feb and then I was to finish Viola Davis's uh, book. Um, I've just discovered I'm a slow reader because I haven't finished, but I have been reading it before I go to sleep. But it's good progress. I'm almost done with it and I can't wait to open another new book that doesn't tear up every time I flip pages. But yeah, honestly, I've been enjoying it. It's quite a story. If you haven't um read the book i'd highly highly recommend
guys i want to show you my other goals that i wrote down but didn't make a vision board of but before that i want to also show you my reset book this is what i'm using it's one of the books we have produced with azali it looks like the sheet to be done notebook the pocket planner but this one is bigger this one hasn't been written on and this is how it looks inside so you have to write your name here it's a reset realign restart reclaim notebook it's more of a reset reflection book but it also has pages for goal planning monthly like i normally do for my videos my reset videos so page one we have who am i it's a guide to self-discovery it has guided notes or points to help you with your self-discovery on the first page and then from 2022 towards 2023 i'm really sorry this is coming a bit late but it will help you i promise you because it has every every month from january all the way to december so from 2022 you are guided on um say habits that served you well that you want to keep on doing in 2023 what negative thoughts do i need to let go of yeah it has good pointers to help guide you in making your uh, goals in 2023 and even reflecting on 2022 about the goals you want to accomplish in a year's time we have financial goals we have health goals business or career goals we also have travel goals and any other that you want to add on this page yeah and then now going to the months we have january as the first month so you have this calendar for jan to write all the activities that are um to be done on that month it's more so like this uh calendar that i had it's quite dusty <laughs> i apologize for that so every month has budget planner you write your savings investments your debt repayment utilities entertainment uh, so much that's how the monthly budget looks like and then next page we have january goals so i'll show you my planner like the goals that i had written down and transferred to my vision board and some of them as i said did not fit but i'll show them to you so we have two pages for january goals and then this is monthly overview you have the important dates to write here the purchases you want to make i'll show you for january like how i wrote mine and then you have your watch list these are movies and shows you want to watch and you can read them at the side of your page and then these are books to read monthly books if you are big on reading this will come in handy don't mind this it shouldn't uh, look like this january ilikosewa but it should look something like this so that you can circle on your favorite book or rate your favorite book and for reading log this is how it looks it has a start date on when you start your book and the book title and end date i can't wait to write my end date for <laughs> the book that i'm reading finding me and then after that you have monthly reflection so i have to write for january i haven't written it yet but you have uh, guided points also january highlights january low light just before you get into another month i feel like this is important you have proud moments this part for monthly reflection the points that is that guide you to write your monthly reflections are different for each month like for january the final one was how do i become a better version of myself let's see for feb and let's see for april this one says anything exciting going on or anything you look forward to so the monthly reflections are different for each month and then after monthly reflection you have mind detox so here you write everything you're thinking of i have been enjoying these pages a lot so it's just a brain dump you have four pages for that no not four three so back to back 
so total of one two three six and then we have feb so apart from the monthly reflection the rest of the book is the same monthly wise like you have your budget monthly overview watch list um, books to read reading log monthly reflection now this is where it's different and then mind detox the reset book is available at zali zali design the link will be down below of her ig So these are my January goals that I had noted down at the beginning of the month. Most of them I have talked about. And then this other side, I was to make 50k on Kairetos. I did that. Mm. I was to make 11k on YouTube. I did that. And then these were the videos that I was to do in January. But yeah, I did most of them actually. <laughs> I posted day in my life, week in my life, where to get bags. Let me know if you'd like to see a self-care day. And then I was to get at least one brand. Well, I'm still working on this, but um, I already am talking to a brand that I previously worked with. Yeah, so probably this will be true <laughs> since I started talking to them in January. then monthly overview important dates i had written sixth to go see my orthodontist and then 14th swimming tv console then i was to uh buy stuff kitchenware and decor from sc sc is the admin for the china imports whatsapp group so i was to do that i think i spent even less than two thousand also she gifted me pieces from uh china like from her stock which was so lovely thank you so much if you're watching this and that's because of you guys going to the group and actually buying stuff for that thank you so much as well mm -hmm. 